Hello, everyone, and welcome to Grandstand Sports Data, your go-to channel for sports, statistics, and unbiased handicapping. And in today's video, we're going to show you the opening round matchup between the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're going to touch on the technical analysis, the fundamental analysis, and then what our model projects is going to happen in the series. So let's tune in. So let's start with the fundamental factors. Fundamental, fundamental factors here, we're going to start with pace. And pace in blue means that it's a weak factor, meaning that the team that has the edge, which would be the Cleveland Cavaliers, usually does not beat the team who, does, who doesn't have the, the edge. So this would actually be favoring the Orlando Magic. Next, you're going to see win shares per 48 for each of the teams. That's also in blue, so it's a weak factor. You can see that when you accumulate the win shares per 48, so this is usually a player's quality per 48 minutes, you're going to see that the Cleveland Cavaliers have the overwhelming edge with their players over the Orlando Magics. And remember, these numbers are based on playoff history. You're not going to see much playoff history from the Orlando Magic, remember, because they, they don't have many guys or they have many guys that this is their first playoff appearance. You're going to see win shares next. That's going to be labeled in yellow. And yellow is an average factor. And you can see Cleveland holds the edge there as well. So, so far in the fundamental factors, if you were to place it on anything, you would probably place it on Cleveland. But they are winning some of the weak factors as well. Home court advantage is labeled in green. Green is below average. That's how we would do it. So the way we have our color codes, it works from blue all the way up till red. So it goes blue, green, yellow, orange, red, green being about below par. So not necessarily a huge factor. The best factor here when it comes to fundamental would be the wind shears themselves. As you can see, Orlando Magic only having 3.7 wind shears when it comes to their lineup for playoff history compared to the Cleveland Cavaliers that have a 7.8. Donovan Mitchell, 3.2 by himself, almost beats the Orlando Magic. But remember, just because they have no playoff experience does not mean that they're not good in the playoffs. It's something that we just need to watch out for. You don't know if Banchero will be good. You don't know Wagner will be good, either one of the Wagners. You just don't know, and this is why they play the games. But so far, just based on fundamental factors, it looks like Cleveland Cavaliers would have the edge here. Let's move on to our technical handicapping now. So for our technical analysis, we're going to look at some of the huge factors first. Or the huge factors, and that's really it. The ones that matter. And the ones that matter would be labeled in orange and, and in red. So orange here, we'll start with the first one is turnover percentage. You obviously want to limit your turnovers as an offensive unit. Cleveland has the edge in that department. Offensive rebound and percentage, another huge one. Orlando gets the nod there. Free throw per, per field goal attempt. This is one of the biggest factors. And Orlando is second best in the NBA. So them getting to the free throw line, they get there a lot. Whereas Cleveland, they kind of slack in that department. Now moving down, defense. When we handicap defense in basketball, just remember everybody's defense ramps up. Even the 29th ranked defense in the NBA ramps up come playoff time. But here are some factors that we look at. Turnover percentage, just like on offense. Are we creating enough turnovers? Orlando has the edge in that department. What about rebounding again? Orlando has the edge in that department. So Cleveland, when you just look at them as a whole, they look well-rounded. But when it comes to Orlando and them playing Orlando, it looks like a pretty bad matchup. Let's move down all the way to differentials now. Here's another one. Free throw per field goal attempt differential. So how well our team gets to the line and keeps your team off of the line. Top 10 in the NBA for Orlando, giving them the edge in this department. So maybe you might say Cleveland got the fundamental side on lock, but it looks like Orlando's got the technical side when it comes to some of the better factors. Now across the board, you might give it to Cleveland when it comes to their power rating or their basketballreference.com SRS rating. They might have... But when it comes to the, the factors that actually make a difference, and you're talking about the reds and oranges, that's what they're labeled in, reds and oranges, it looks like Orlando has the better of the matchup in this game or in this series. Sorry. Now let's look at the betting lines for the series. You're going to see here, 
If you like the Orlando Magic in terms of the spread, well, the spread on the C- series, if you wanted them to, to buy a plus one and a half game, the odds would be minus 150. If you think Cleveland's going to win by more than two games, two games or more in the series, that would be plus money at plus 125. If you're just looking to bet outright in the series, you can get plus money for Orlando at plus 165 and Cleveland to get minus 195. If you like playing the over-unders, how far the series will go. If you think it's going to go five uh, over, so six games, seven games, you're going to bet on minus money, minus 190. Or if you think it's going to be under five games or less, you'll get plus money at plus 155. Our prediction in terms of the model, just the model now, it looks like Orlando's going to squeak it out four games to three. We ran this Monte Carlo simulation 10,000 times, and it came out 51-49 Orlando. That's how close this matchup is. So the model likes Orlando on the spread, Orlando on the line, and then the over in the series. And I'd just like to give my two cents as well. I think that it's going to be very close. The model has it close, and I agree with the model on this one. I don't necessarily always agree, but I do think that Orlando's going to give Cleveland fits. I do. I think that their team, just because they're not experienced enough, and that might be the difference in a seven-game series, is that they're not experienced enough. But I don't think they're going to get blown out. I don't think they're going to lose no four games to none, four games to one, nothing close to that. I think this might go seven if they don't win it at all. So like always, would like to thank you guys for watching. If you mind, if you don't mind and you like our content, please subscribe. Also hit the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. What that does is it takes our content and throws it through that YouTube algorithm so it can work its magic. And then finally, if you wouldn't mind sharing and commenting down below, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you in the next one.